Okay. Let's go into Max Packs against Dark, the grand finals of this week's NA Cup. ESL, EPT, everything, you have it here in the bottom left. It is Max Packs, the blue Protoss play. In the top right, we have our red Zerg player playing amazing in the last set against Max Angel. It is Dark. All right. So Max Packs, I am considering a little bit more aggressive than Estrella, play style wise. He's always looking for damage, always looking to poke in and see what he can find with any kind of unit. Always looking for run buys, which we really didn't see at all last series. And uh, yeah, Dark of course is Dark, he can do everything and anything. He is in general considered to be a little bit more aggressive as a player. But, of course, he can play everything you want. This is going to be a nice scout here from Maxpex. He's going to see this immediately. There we go. Natural being taken at the gold here for Dark. Which kind of is a very common move on this map. Let's see how he wants to go about this. It's going to be two gateways for starters. And we're going to see... an. Cybernetics core here before Nexus. So, very aggressive orientation here from Max Pax. He's trying to punish this gold base. This could be just Adept sitting behind the gold minerals to uh, shoot at the drones, for example. This could be Adept shading into the natural, just trying to pull your opponent apart. Oh, sorry, not natural, main base. <laughs> of course. There you go, drone transfer coming in here. Let's see, so at 148 you pull 3, 4, 5, 6 drones. And uh, let's see if this is actually time correct here from Dark. Seems to be a little bit slow. Maybe you want to be pulling them at 140 and not 150. So you can already start with the gold minerals in your hands here. Immediately get that extra income. A couple links to destroy this debris. Of course, Dark knows he has been scouted. He needs to open that as soon as possible so he can actually defend his drone line here from the natural with the queen and the specifically Zerglings. And Max Pax is gonna aim to uh, yeah find damage here for now. These drones are just gonna walk away. And I got a long distance mines from here for now. I really like this move from Dark. He's not gonna lose any drones here to the Adepts. He's gonna open the wall and now he can defend against these Adepts with his links. Links are gonna come in, he's gonna lose a drone maybe? Nope. Quick pull here on the drones, very well done. And he's gonna go back to the gold minerals since this has been opened. So cool stuff here. Dark really showing how to make this work properly. He also ran in a couple links which scouted the Twilight Council of course and uh, distracted Max Pax a little bit here from the offense. He got one drone. But that's basically all the punish you were able to do if you think about it this Max Pax. So the punish you were able to do, you got one drone, you got a little bit of mining time, you lost at least two adepts and you got scouted on your follow-up. That's the damage. The damage you were able to do. Okay. That's cool stuff, isn't it? And uh, we've got a guy lagging out right like more you damaged yourself than you damage your opponent there. So yeah, let's see. The ball is in Dark's basket. And um, we're gonna see what he wants to do with this. For now it's gonna be a roach one, it's gonna be a third base, it's gonna be more drones. But he knows there's a twilight. Of course he does not know that it is glaives. But seeing so many adepts might tip him off. Still though, this is a, like a responsive adept play. What he thinks. Oh, if he saw that one popping there, that might have been a huge tell actually. 
But he, of course, it could be just responsive adapts, right? To his gold base play. Because adapts are very mobile, they kill drones very fast. And in general, just a good harassment unit. Seeing this many adapts, though, might be a tell that the Twilight is in fact not researching Blink. And yeah, even a recall on those. I mean, he was sure there weren't so many links, but yeah, putting on that many damage, that much damage on those, that's amazing. Three in the red, one yellow, that's really good for Dark. And Max Pax, he's kind of on a timer right now, he really needs to make things go his way with this attack. Otherwise, you know, as we say in Germany, I see black for you. Gonna get some Ravages in the mix as well, which might be amazing for a Warp Prism Snipe. I'm pretty sure there is a Warp Prism almost out. And the rest needs to be dealt with, or uh, done with these links. But if we look at the numbers, it's 10 Adepts against 30, soon to be 50 links here. So I like Dark's chances. Not gonna commit to the Shade here. Well done by Max Pack. It's gonna wait for the Warp Prism. It's gonna warp in, what, four more? But honestly, at this point, don't. Don't even warp in. Just try to make Dark produce more units. Try to pull him out of position. Keep him away from your base because, hey, that's your base. It's one Stalker. It's literally one Stalker. He's actually warping in a few more Adepts here. Trying to go in for the natural. He's gonna get hit though here first. He's, and it's gonna commit to the shade, of course. Dark already moves over his links and he's yeah once he clears out these depths which he's gonna do he's gonna have a very good position to maybe even take the game yeah it's gonna be disruptors behind this but thing is like you kind of need to push out for a, not a new base here as max packs that was good harassment here with these link uh, links now adapts keeping them alive or prism in the main Although there's so many links, it's just too many. He's gonna lose these adepts now. That's not good. He wanted to trade them for drones, not for links. And the push has been defended, so now we still see only extra infrastructure here. It's gonna be eight gates, disruptor, war prism, speed. So he's gonna bring the war prism home. We're gonna go into charge lots it seems and we're gonna go with double prism disruptor speed prism disruptor and uh, gonna try and push the issue but that's only if dark says okay have it your way but if he goes now pulls the trigger and goes go goes for an attack i think he has the upper edge here gonna be a nice pickup here from max pack and then now <clears throat> the door is closed again, so there is no opening here. But we see Dark is only committing to more and more and more and more units. There's basically two people going for on all in. The defensive one should have the edge, and if this connects big time, well, it's not gonna be. One had a good connection, but it was not a big time connection. Build though eight gates. I think you need to pull back as Dark. You're not gonna fight. 8 gate charge knot with links. Trying to pre-split pre -split his units against the disruptors here. They're gonna find some good value targets here. Trying to go for the ravagers. And uh, Max Pax is just gonna push out. And just gonna see if he can win with charge lots here. He's gonna go into... Oh, that might be a very nice connection here. But so many roaches coming in gonna go into a Templar Archives, going into Charge Lot Archon, but maybe it is too little too late here. These two disruptors are kind of doing magic, but not enough. Well played by Dark, just making units, units, units.
<clears throat> GG, ready, a go, a go. Another PVZ on Golden Aura, which feels like a map that can be going into both places. It feels very good for Zerg at first, but once everything's kind of protected and locked down, it feels really powerful for Protoss. Okay, so far he needs to pull it back. It is Max Packs in the bottom right. Top left, up one. Oh, Dark, really utilizing the gold base in the last map. And there we go, extract a trick. So already going for a little bit of a different build this time. Been a while since I've seen, haven't seen the extracted trick in any of his PVZs today. This time. Uh, going for the early hatchery here. Really wants to deny the block. And it's gonna happen. There we go. The tree is there. Rope arrives now. Second extract trick. Get one more drone here, then into the overlord, and then it should be next come going into the uh, pool and gas, of course. Only. Oh, actually, he's gonna go just into extra. There we go. Pool. Okay, that's how it works, right? Pool. No gas, maybe. That's also an option, of course. Gonna get two to max saturate. And a third one. And a fourth one. One should be an extractor. This one. And this one's gonna go down already. Okay. There we go. A uh, quicker pool going into uh, grabbing extra queens here rather early, and we see Nexus before cybernetic score here from Max Pax as a response. And if this is not a Stargate pylon, I don't know what a Stargate pylon is. Go, Stargate coming online. I want to take this time for everyone watching on YouTube. Please hit the subscribe button just below and give it a like if you like the content. So these couple links, they should be able to get in and get some scouting information. Decides against this though, turning those around. Maybe wants to utilize the Overlord, see the first unit first. Just gonna pull back for now though. A little bit curious. Gonna have the Stargate, of course, being the follow-up here, which I uh, remember was not the case in the first game, but kind of dark forcing that not be the case there with the early gold base and forcing a reaction there from Max Max. This time, no, no gold base around. We're gonna have uh, an extractor trick uh, expansion play here from dark, so... Really wanted to get up his three base setup in the current position and uh, growth rate as it is. <clears throat> also, this denies the Protoss some potential harassment, right? So he's he's kind of saying, I've got to sacrifice a tiny bit of my economy and timings, but I will have. The, um, deny openings for your harassment basically so he's gonna be locking down harassment potential from max packs and that's saying a lot about max packs to be honest or what dark thinks about max packs it's saying that he's acknowledging max packs as one of the most best harassment protoss players in the world which he definitely is and he does not want to deal with any of it
And he's coming in, like, which is not standard stuff, right? So, Max is coming with oracles right now. I'm gonna grab a tumor, maybe a drone here or two. Just gonna snag one. And then driving back home. At least over to the side. We're gonna have one more oracle. Twilight Forge on the way now, as is the standard. Then we're gonna see Blink plus one, most likely. With the Robotics Bay follow up. We're gonna have a four adapt movement here. Trying to see if he can find some drones. This was a little bit offensive for this Oracle. Taking some damage is not good. Gonna rotate that one around. We're gonna just snipe some creep tumors. Gonna see if we can find five adapts actually. Find some damage with these five adapts. And this is an exposed mineral line here. Just some links in the nick of time, but it's not enough links. To finish off these adapts, so we're gonna lose some probes here as dark. And remember, oracles are behind this. Still though, very good defense. Only losing what? Two probes? Hey, that's good. I take that. Only losing two workers for five adapts. And try to rest with links. That's good. There we go. Nine links. Two drones. Or four adapts. Worth it. Extra gateways being added. The robo, as was foretold, is coming up now with blink and plus one on the way here for the Protoss player. On the other side, it's very curious. There's a lot of response possibilities for Zerg players. We're gonna see plus one melee and bailing nest. As well as the Roach Warren is of course there. He's gonna go into speed, yes. So we're gonna see some Roach Ling Bane, Ravager Ling Bane maybe. <coughs> And an infestation pit is gonna be the next piece to the puzzle here for Dark. Going into more and more tech. Of course, on the other side, it's the same thing with the Templar Archives coming up now. Going most likely into some Storm here, which is gonna be the first form of AoE. There's no, not gonna be a Robotics Bay and no second Robo facility. We're gonna see Nidus. Okay, so much for going further down the tech route. So. Ooh. Swarm host. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, so Swarm host Road Ravager. It should be. What it is actually is Swarm host Ling Bane? Plus two? This is very interesting. Okay, so usually I'm used to see Swarm Host Ling Roach. Excuse me, Swarm Host Ling Roach or Swarm Host Roach, right? Swarm Host Ling Bane Roach. That's a little bit different. Oh, getting a lot of links frozen here. But still, he has more than enough links. These stalkers need to move out there. We need some more. Yeah, Dora gets turned on or some more stasis traps. Still, he's gonna probably lose all of these stalkers if Dark decides to chase. But as I say, that links are kind of vaporizing here. Need some more links. But this is the big story of the game. And it is gonna be a dead Nexus. Gonna try to heal this up, but no way! Boom! Nexus down, stalkers are gonna fall as well. The oracles did evacuate. Oh, he's gonna lose at least two, maybe three. No, gets three out of here, but that's all you managed to save from your poke? Three oracles, three stalkers, you lost the nexus? No, boy. That's not how this is supposed to look. We're gonna transition into a hydralisk then going into the uh, what is it called? Hive here. Oh, Swarmhost just going out in the nick of time. He's gonna deny this base one more time, maybe. No. He decides to trade against the army, but at the same time, whoops. Oh my god, storming his own probes here. Only two were there, though. Also, a good defense on the right side. Only two probes and, like, the shields from the Nexus. Not even, eh? Well done here. By Max Pax, trying to defend his positions here. He's gonna kill this Nidus before it does anything and uh, actually swarm hosts are on the other side or other other side. And now we're gonna get Banelings with swarm hosts. So it's gotta be Banes into swarm hosts. Oh beautiful storm there. And uh, yeah that's kind of 
<laughs> That's kind of sick, though. And he's gonna snipe the Nexus again with these one. Oh no, they're actually surviving. Wow. Very well done here. And he definitely needs to power up those shield batteries trying to heal up the Nexus. Because the next wave is gonna be crucial here. Some units trying to go in. Uh, Ling Roach, not gonna find too, too much. They are trading some units only. And next wave of Banes, told you so, mate. You needed to heal up the Nexus. It's gonna go down. Also not really finding too many probes though, really good evacuation skills here from Max Packs. Only five probes going down. He has a lot of walkers, but he doesn't have the next eye. And we see the next wave relentless here, really, from Dark going in. He's been trading so fabulously good. Just gonna settle for some static defense, for some extra units here, for some extra workers, and another wave of Zerg going in into the top. Adrenal is about to kick in here for these links, which make them just so much more stronger. They are already at plus two attack and they're gonna get the plus three attack in just a moment here as well. Dark so far, literally relentless with this aggression. I think pushing on the left side with the Swarmhost might be good again. They have been getting so much value. At least two Nexus kills. Several probes, several units, several other structures just and we're gonna go again try for and deny maybe some army trade oh this could be cool static or these um, stasis wards kind of, kind of cool cool addition and another knight is in a different area i love it maybe even going for a knight is into the main directly could be kind of cool but Behind all of this pressure, Dark has not been given up on what he has been doing. He's been expanding, he has been um, developing his tech, he is on Hive, he is on a Lurker Den, he is on Hydras, he has plus two incoming for his range units. He basically has everything he wants. And there we go, the big Lurker shop. He has 17, uh, what, 11 Lurkers here, sorry. On the bottom side, these swarm hosts are still going strong. I don't. I want to kind of want to see how many kills those guys have at this point. But yeah, well, as we can see, Dark has been trading almost one to one resource-wise. Yeah, is even actually trading better now in resources almost than his opponent is, and that's never where you want to be. Because hey, let's have a look at the interim graph after this fight. See. So you look at this, which is almost dead even. It's like 13 minerals off or something. And then you look at this, how much more he has mined. And uh, yeah, it's all it's all dark. Coming in again with these free units, just destroying so many probes. Getting some pylons, getting even more workers here, retargeting those in the last second again. And the next lurker shove is about to commence with a ton of links this time, maybe some Banes even this time. He needs to be a little bit careful though, because if he commits too many of his army units into one fight, there's always the uh, fear. No, 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 don't, no. Don't go in disjointed, Dark. There's always the fear that the Protoss manages to push you back and swing back. See? Don't go in disjointed, mate. Okay, we're gonna go in from all side now, trying to pick off all the bases here again, but behind this, hey, Max Pax is dealing a lot of damage to Dark's economy. He has something in the third base here, or fourth base. It's just a couple zealots. This is a very low investment, high return play for him. And it's gonna keep Dark off his, off his neck for at least a minute or so. But yeah, Dark just traded tons of units here, and this was not really the trade he was looking for. He is kind of... Well, he, he kind of reset a lot of the army, though, which was a really key moment here as well, though, for him. And, uh, yeah. Still, though, he has been losing his own core units as well. But he has just more money to reproduce all of these. Still, though, with, like, three... Three Immortals about to pop again. Stuff like this doesn't do anything. 
You'd rather have those banes just roll in, right? Gonna get a couple banes over here, a couple banes from here, flanking, swarm hosts are here. <coughs> Coming from the left side again. Going in here. Spawning the locust. Then we're gonna get the banes, which have not been seen now. They have been seen, and these archons are gonna finish these. But this is the real story. These banelings are gonna connect here with a lot of probes. Eight probes go down. Nine, very well done here. We're gonna lose a couple of the oracles, which is gonna reduce the tax and GG. Dark just picks max packs apart. He came across the map once with a prism and three charge lots. And they killed like 12 drones. And that was it. Other thing that went across the map was the probe at the beginning. It's insane. He's one of the very, very best Swarm Host user. As you can see, Swarm Host Knight is insanely well played here by Dark. That's how you're supposed to execute it, and then he just locker shoved him three times into a get out of my game thing. I mean, that's always a little bit. How do you say? If you are too reckless with those attacks, you know, that's a comeback for potential comeback for your opponent. But yeah, Dark just executed well enough. So Max Pax didn't really have a choice there. Alright. Next map coming up very soon. It's gonna be Oceanborn. And we are up 2-0. The Dark. Max Pax needs a sweep here. A reverse sweep. Alright, welcome to Oceanborn. In the top left we have Max Pax, and in the bottom right it is Dark. Rush of Dreams. Amazing. Another extractor trick, throwing us back to 1999. As I'm grabbing from the chat here. <laughs> and another deny on the block here. I really love this. Dark is basically saying he has so many variations on how to play around the early Protoss blocks. And he's randomizing that so many times. This time, it's a couple times in a row, it's been the extractor trick the first map has been a proxy hatchery and i mean against max packs you never really want to go for your third but he also has like these i'm gonna wait with my pr uh, drone a little bit in my main base and just go for the natural later you know he has so many moves he has so many variations he can play opening wise to just not allow the natural being blocked sometimes he just takes the third he does this as well. It's like you never know with him, which I really love. And you never know it he does things like this, where he goes extract a trick twice in a row. Sometimes he does the same thing three times in a row. Sometimes it's completely different things every game in three games. And that's one of the biggest strengths of Dark. He can do everything and anything, and you never know with this guy. Alright, we're gonna go into another Stargate here. So, safe opening here, very harassment, sorry, harassment oriented. Been watching too many Margugu streams, sorry, uh, not streams. I've been 
working with Margugu and T90 on the Hidden Cup. So, uh, had a couple casts, I think, together in the last week. And uh, Margugu is a very humble French uh, player, pro player, and occasional caster. A lovely individual. Very funny guy. Great humor. But enough, let's get back to this game. Max Pack's trying to go in with a couple adepts here. Gonna see what he can find, but honestly, Dark has been locked down very well. He has, what, eight links, I wanna say. Let's get confirmed. It's ten, actually. I cannot count. Confirmed as well. The adepts. Gonna see what they can find here. Just gonna look out for the links. Not gonna find anything. Oracle follow up coming in now, but. I'm gonna see what the play is gonna be here for Max Pax. He wants to go into the third nexus. It is actually the third nexus. Go, it's placed down. Dark has an overload in position to see this if he wants to at any point of the game. And these two adepts are just gonna deny drones from transferring over here for now, but like this is not what you wanna do, right? You don't wanna kill creep tumors, you don't wanna kill lava with your harassment units. They're supposed to kill drones. And that's what they have managed to not do yet. Seven overlords. Dark or a laser? Who are you? Seven, another seven and one more overlord. This is making 20 overlords right now. No, but like eight, literally. He just made eight overlords. Dark man. Okay. And now he's exploding into drones. <laughs> it's just eight overlords. Okay, I, I need to be at 130 potential supply here. So I can just make nothing but drones for the next 17 minutes. All right, we got a four adept hit squad with an oracle coming across the map. We are gonna pump up our. 10 links by 4 more links. And plus 1 is on the way. I have some queens also in position here. I want to see a couple more links here maybe, yes. I'm going to get 4 more links from Dark. It's just going to reduce those in 4 hit or 4, four people squads for now. Alright, there we go. 10 more extra links since he sees depths at his lawn here. Let's get them off the lawn for now. He's going to commit to the attack but he's going to lose some of the links. That's why he made extra links. So he can trade out some of them without losing the map control here. Yeah. Needs to be careful though. Two oracles also in position. Is gonna deny the base for now. He doesn't didn't know that. Oh, that's the first drone. The first drone. The second drone. Two drones. Oh boy. The first two drones. Finally, two attempts also going down in the process, of course. And uh, Oracle's almost out of juice. I think one has a little bit left here. Two energy, three, and there we go. Done. These Adepts are a goner as well. One more Oracle joining the group here. But yeah, low energy Oracle's not going to find much value anymore. We have three Nexi. We have the fourth Nexus on the way. But on the other side, Dark is happily double expanding right now. He's going into a Roach Warren, into a second Evo Chamber, into a Macro Hatchery, into his lair. He, the world is his oyster kind of right now. Bardic facility on the other side and blink and plus one almost done here. Second forge also pumping up out the armor upgrade right now. Both players heading very strong into a macro game but honestly every slowdown approach here from Max Packs hasn't found anything on the side of dark and uh, Hey, do you guys remember what happened last game? What did we see? We saw an infestation pit, we saw a baneling nest, we saw roach speed, we saw melee upgrades, and then we saw a nidus, and we saw swarm host. Golden Aura feels a little bit better for swarm host play, just because I think it is a longer map. At least it feels like it is a longer map. Let's see what's gonna be the play this time. 
We're gonna get Carapace, which is a mix-up from last time. And uh, it's gonna be Ling. Approach for now. Baneling is done. Baneling Ness is done, excuse me. But no Banelings yet. Warp Prism didn't manage to find anything. There's Spore Crawlers just waiting for that one. So far, good defense here. Uh, Max Packs is gonna go up to four more gates here. Total of ten gates and for base. That's a lot of production. Potential he has there behind his attack waves. And uh, yeah, I don't know, mate. The War Prism isn't really with the army, so you are kind of struggling to reinforce right now. You're floating a thousand minerals there. So potentially, what? Six stalkers? Wow. That's a lot of money, a lot of units you're kind of missing right now on the front line. Maybe could have been to put to good use here. A little bit of more efficient trading, you know. <clears throat> All those good things. But yeah, so those thousand minerals that were put into six extra strokers and one extra nexus. Also gonna grab our plus two behind this pressure here. And uh, I'd love to see a little bit more chrono boosting on these. On the other side though, Dark is about to hit 2-1 himself. And he is keeping on trading and not too shabby, to be honest. A 2 to 1 ratio is kind of expected this, at this point, but... I mean, that being said though, Max Pax has 85 drones. He has tons and tons of money coming in. So, he can... He can actually... He, he's been trading very good, actually. But now... Oh, I think he just lost the war prism. Yeah, he just lost the prism here. We just saw some metal floating. Uh, Alright, but yeah, as you can see, we're gonna get all the good sweet stuff here. And Ultralisks, this time I love it, from Dark going full into the melee upgrade, melee um, approach here this time. And yeah, if you go for... Wow, slow zo... <laughs> Eight slow zealots, go! Slow zealots against slow banes. Ten minute game. He might just pull Dark out of position though, and this could, could be enough to snipe this Nexus. Sorry, Hatchery. And there we go. Very well done by Dark. Good snipe on that Hatchery. Dark, uh, well done by Max Pax. What am I? Confusing names and names and names and names everywhere right now. We need a different base here, and I want to see double expanded. Get this one and get this one. Do it, Dark. As you can see, Max Pax keeps on pushing out Nexi right now. We're gonna go into burrow, we're gonna go into plus three attack, just in a second, plus two carapace. Gonna get the ultralisk uh, armor, and we're gonna go into a couple vipers here. And they're still slow zealots, they're still slow, charge is not done yet, and slow zealots, oh, he's splitting slow zealots against speed banes this time. <laughs> but roaches are on the way, we still need to, that's why I said, mate, you need to go double expand. You're not gonna hold this one against the max pace. That's what Max Pax is so good against, multi-prong attack, multi-prong harassment. Basically Dark's super strength in the last game, that's also the superpower of Max Pax. <clears throat> He's just so good at pulling you apart, go coming in from different angles, shopping with the main army and uh, having her harassment force on different uh, areas at the same time. Good evacuation here with these stalkers, plus three, just finished up. And those zealots? Finally charge lots. Now we get this base? It's a little bit late, isn't it? We could have made this already when this one was about to start, so it would have been finished at this point. And now it's gonna get denied even by these charge lots. Max Pack's really pulling Dark apart here, it feels. And, uh, I mean, Dark has incredible tech at this point, but, um, I kinda, he's kind of not growing as much as he needs to. Finding some damage over here with the links, but it's only army trades. Well defended by Max Pax. These zealots, they should have not gone in yet. There is enough defenses in place. I don't want to keep those uh, outside of the loop for now. I'm gonna pull them back and see how much he can trade with these links. Oh, that's an amazing stasis ward. And as you can see, these links, they might even just kill these zealots. Nice. No, it's, it's two, three zealots, man. Oh, a nice warp in here into the natural base of Dark, but Dark is gonna find some damage over here as well in Max Pax's, what is it, 6th base? Links are gonna get unfrozen here. 
And the war prism harass has been defended. But also this attack over here has been pushed back. Now, well, Dark is kind of, kind of about to mine out very soon here. And uh, he needs extra income. If he wants to keep on trading like this, because as you can see, he has been trading less efficient. And he has lost his base. And since then he has, has never been able to retake any of this. Oh, that was an amazing pick off here. Three zealots and a warp prism for a little bit of energy. Very well done here by Dark. Max Pack's finally going into some high attack here, going into the Templar Archive and most likely gonna have some Templars for feedback and I hope we're gonna see some Storm as well. Well, that was rather inefficient actually, just grabbing the Static D and uh, yeah, not getting any probes. It was good to get all these pylons though and now he can completely wreck the space. Ultralisks on their own in this part of the map, which I don't like too much. Also, just Ultralisks over here. Dark, mix up your army a little bit more. Ultras alone are not gonna clear a base fast. Have a couple of links with it, will ya? And uh, yeah, Harassment Ultra is hiding underground here right now. There we go. We already have a lot of Immortals. We have three more Immortals in production. Shields even being researched here. Uh, we're about to... Uh, yeah, see? One Ultralisk is not a good harassment unit. <laughs> gonna fight the pylon, he's gonna die against the Immortal. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, yeah. Plus one missile is about to finish up. We wanna see some more missile damage here from Dark much as possible. These Ultralisks though, they are really putting in the work against these Stalkers. Stalkers alone, one Immortal, they're not gonna be enough here to push back these Ultralisks. And this could be a nice run in him here uh, for Dark and a needed Bane train, but honestly there's not too many probes and we're gonna miss the main fight if we keep watching over here. These Immortals are packing a punch, they're completely cleaning house here right now and even warping in Extra Templars here, wow, even cancelling the warp in after the snipe attempt here from Dark. These two players are on fire. Oh my god, I love it. Finally, we're going to see some Infester, uh, which will, of course, work wonders with any melee combination here. Oh boy, those links kill these probes so fast, man. Plus three armor probes? All right, all right, but plus three attack adrenal links. Well, perhaps not gonna be long for the world. Oh, that's a nice find here. Is he gonna snag one of those? Nope. Very well done, the recall over there on these two more models. But he's gonna lose his robot production. At least he's gonna keep one of those. And uh, let's see what Dark wants to do next. He does not have Neural. I'm correct here. We have one Infestor only, actually. So this is the fungal infester basically trying to get the stalkers in place. But there's a lot of Archons at this point and Ultralisks, they're not the best against Archons. They're not the worst, but especially if it's Archons and Immortals, Ultralisks just melt. And uh, yeah, Aspire would have been great like ages ago when you had the Money Dark and the Great Aspire would have been even better. Now we're gonna see one Infester in the mix here, but yeah, I mean Neural. Neural is another option. Oh, just losing the Infester is not cool. You have Burrow, you could have had them just run underground with you. Okay, but... So, Dark has reset completely the economy here from Max Packs, but... If you look at that, supply Max Packs has, like, he has almost no probes, so it's almost completely army. He has like a hundred... 30, 140 supply army right now against 70 and uh, you're not gonna win that fight here especially with Archon Immortal against Ultralisks and uh, yeah, well played by Max Pax. GG Dark cannot muster the force to win against Max Pax. horrendous army there
<clears throat> it's like a maxed army, right? It's like 140 supply army. And then usually you have like 60 probes with it. Or 70 probes. So you usually even... It's like a, a better than maxed army almost. Incredibly well played here from Max Packs, but it felt like Dark definitely made a lot of mistakes there, composition wise and sometimes timing wise. Not really, for example, when he lost his what was it, fifth base for the first time, should have gone remake that one and the other base at the same time, which he didn't. And then eventually, he never really got one of these even up. So that was like the first mistake. Then, composition wise, of course, hey, if you see. If, I mean, you have like ultras and you have all of your Ling upgrades basically, right? And everything is in melee upgrades and whatnot. Still though, if you see your opponent is committing to so many immortals and archons, well, what do you want to do? You want to keep making ultralisks? I don't think so. Having a lurker den, having anything would have been amazing there. But let's introduce our players first. Top left, it's Max Pex. Bringing it back very beautifully in the last game. And on the uh, bottom right, we have Dark. Kind of making some, a little bit, well, probably those mistakes were forced here by Max Pax, putting in so much pressure on Dark. By the way, this is not an extractor trick. This is not a hidden drone or proxy. This is just, I'm taking my third by Dark. So he's mixing it up once more here. I'm super hungry, by the way. Need to grab some food after this. Been up for like uh, hours and hours. Trying to readjust my sleep schedule here tonight. And uh, from yesterday, I've been working night shifts the last week for Hidden Cup, Age of Empires tournament. And uh, now I woke up at like 3 a.m. <laughs> today so now it's like 13 it's 1 p.m. and I'm super hungry ah I'm looking forward to make some food after this one but I'm also looking forward to maybe have two more maps here yeah? Uh, let's see what it will be. And now it's gonna be the standard Stargate opening, most likely here from Max Pax. And this is the first time he is gonna get what he wants situationally. He's gonna get the third and the main base being taken here for Dark when his harassment is gonna be hitting. So there is gonna be potentially damage for transferring drones on to transferring drones and um, all those sweet spots basically is also enabling a longer uh, defensive stretch here but dark and um, on the side for max packs this will enable him to basically multi-prong a little bit stronger Well, even trying to deny this a little bit longer. Maybe you can come in with the shade. Is not gonna find the kill though on the drone, and not even this one. Very well done here by Dark, going to extract the safest drone. I love the attempt though from Maxpack, trying to deny this as long as possible with a probe, then throwing down a pylon, even trying to deny this a little bit more, and then going in uh, potentially with the shade if this hits just at the correct time to uh, even snatch the drone there and completely deny that base for another minute or so. Alright. So, oh, first Oracle is on the way here. Lynx are just gonna greet that one with their fingers. Hello, Oracle. And uh, I wouldn't hate like a stasis trap even prematurely setting this up around here. Then shading in with a 
adapts into the main base. And, you know, trapping all the links in the stasis one would have been amazing. Like, having it here already now, when, like, in the shadow, right? When Dark didn't see it. But, of course, it's not gonna be the case. Just gonna settle for three drones here. The first oracle, second oracle coming in, is going to rotate to the natural first, scouting the lair timing, which is rather fast here, I want to say. And also odd position for the lair. Dark is randomizing those, for people who are curious. It's like, whenever you think of someone... So... Imagine a build and imagine it being optimized, right? There's people who are amazing at creating builds, then there's people who are amazing at optimizing things. They're looking at a build, they're taking the build, and they're completely perfectionizing, like optimizing it into maximum value, right? And then you look at Dark, and he's like the best randomizer of anyone. He randomizes so many things that it doesn't even make sense. To the point where it's so hard to read the state of the game if you play against him. Even as observers or casters sometimes you don't really know where is he going with this. And this time it's gonna be a Link Bane Nidus, it seems. And a frontal one. So... We're gonna see queens, I assume. Gonna be a couple more queens in production. We're gonna be seeing queens to fight off the oracles. There's gonna be a frontal push, just, uh, yeah, creep highway, basically. A second nidus to push out the creep, basically, in the front. And, uh, yeah, links, 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 nothing but links. There we go. I wouldn't mind... Oh, actually, those have been already shaded there, and there we go, extra links coming in. You need a creep tumor here. You need a creep tumor. I know you really want to kill these oracles right now, but you need a creep tumor there. Now the retreat is kind of a little bit messy here <coughs> with the tumor. We've already had the extra creep down there. Being a little bit faster, but so far so good from Max Packs. He is holding, and Dark is kind of a little bit indecisive. Do I poke the left? Do I poke the right? Where do I commit? Oh, I'm finally getting one, the first Oracle, but it was already out of energy almost. And uh, finally starting to overwhelm a little bit on the left side. Max Packs reinforcements though, coming from the left, oh, sorry, the right side, coming from the left now, trying to uh, go in here. Dark is. Still not really breaking through on any of those. It seems like he's almost, almost getting in here. Now he is kind of getting into the uh, natural, but is this gonna be enough to actually break through? He's gonna lose a couple of queens on the right if he's not careful. You need some transfusers here. And uh, we're gonna see more and more Nidus is popping up. Killing the cybernetic score I think is really key, he has some links committed to this, actually losing a high energy key. queen is not key here. Not key to breaking the man, and uh, it seems like Max Pax is kind of stabilizing right now, he still has the cybernetic score, he's been producing nothing, but stalkers of course they can blink, they can trade very well. Killing that one is amazing, but it is not fast enough, because there's already the backup in play. And this might be one of these things that Dark can misread here. We're gonna get a couple of spines now, which is very curious. Because those are gonna kind of slow down, slowing down the game, right? But slowing down the game is not what you want here as Dark. You wanna have the high pace game going on still there. That's where you're finding your value, but... I wonder, are we going to see a drone on the production tab? Because this does not seem to be... Well, the finishing move here. Seems like enough defense from Max Pax here. Enough pushing back everything. He's going to lose a lot of prones, probes though. Those banelings really hit home there. But they did not connect on much of the army thing. So... 
that's a little bit of a mess. And now you lose 18 drones behind this to these three oracles. It's a full mineral line. You're gonna lose even more there, maybe. And the max packs is still not being broken. And this is even more all in. All of your reinforcements have been slowed down at this point. That's what I was saying. You don't want to slow down the game. You lost all of your static defense you were building offensively. The spine crawlers, they didn't really do anything. And uh, everything's kind of falling apart here from Dark. Max Pax is just remaking props. He has enough money, he has enough units, and he's just gonna finish up the game. Reverse sweep potentially incoming here. Max Pax being up 2-2 two to two here in just a second. There we go. G Maybe Dark is hungry as well. So far, so good here. Max Pax really showing how an defensive Protoss should play. Oh, you're not gonna be broken by Ling Bane Nidus Worms. And there we go. Dark Max Pax. Actually, map number five coming in here in just a second. At this point, I would uh, like all of you watching at YouTube, thank you for tuning in. And please hit the subscribe button. It's going to help the channel grow and everything. And it would be lovely. And also just uh, hit a like if you like the content. Oh, watching i hope you enjoy and let's go into map number five site delta is going to be the last map to finish up the series it's going to be 2-2 two, two right now anyone can win probably the best execution of any protoss player in any kind of style in the bottom right it is max packs and well the best randomizer of any strategy it is dark I want to call him like that right now I've had so many names for this guy the scariest zerg player the most brute force zerg player the, the most insane zerg with like spellcasters it's like he has been one of the best spellcaster user of zerg he has definitely, he is the best uh, Spore user. I think, I know, it's a very weird win th thing to say, but he is the best Spore user of the game. And uh, if you have build and strategy optimizers, then Dark would be the best build and strategy randomizer in the game throwing off the game itself into such a weird way that it's really hard to read for anyone who is playing against him at what state of the game we are currently in and what the right move is as the next move, right? If that makes sense. I think this might be his strongest title yet, the best randomizer of the game, or at the game. Let's see if we, you know, sometimes even to a fault, right? Like, randomizing strategies, the last one, it's not really, I mean, even with good execution, it's not really that tough if you know how to deal and defend one of those uh, all-ins, right? It's not the toughest thing to hold against. Yeah, Stargate. 
And, uh, let's see what the next randomization is here from Doug. This drone is kind of random, being out here so early. <laughs> Let's just sitting here. There we go, 300. <laughs> Let's make a hatchery. <laughs> I love it. Just gonna see what we can see. Oh, is he actually gonna commit to the shape? No. Okay. A couple links coming in here. Going for a drone, not gonna get the probe. Uh, two adepts on the other side. Just gonna shade in. Oh, that's gonna be at least a couple dead drones here. Maybe in three, four. Mm -hmm. Can you get a fourth? This should be safe. It's gonna be staying at three. And uh, he's gonna get the adept out though, which is very nice. Three adepts, uh, sorry, three drones for one adept. That's what you're looking for here as max specs. Very nice start to the game for him. I'd be definitely happy if I get three drones against Dark for one adept and uh, damaged one. Now Oracle, number one, coming in, see what it can find. Spore in position here, it's gonna get two drones it seems and I'm gonna go half, half HP here. Second Oracle, joining up now with this friend. I'm gonna see the most stand-up follow-up, I assume. Here we're gonna have another Twilight and Forge follow-up, most certain. Couple more gates coming in. And uh, then it's gonna be the Robo after that. You know, all the good standard stuff. Then another couple more gates. And then we're gonna see where Max Pex wants to take us. If it's gonna be two more gates that point, which would give us a total of 8, eventually even, maybe even 10, possibly. Or, and he wants to go all in on three bases, or if he wants to transition into a fourth base after this, and go into some uh, robo units with his twilight stuff. I wouldn't hate him going for an early storm, to be honest, but for now it's of course going to be the robo follow-up. Two extra gates. It feels like I can I can read a, a Vel um, like the standard Protoss build. It's like an open book at this point. It's so optimized. Like everything. You have your blink, you have your plus one, you have your two extra gates about to finish, you have your robotics facility, then you're gonna get it. And get an observer or maybe a couple observers you're gonna get war prism you're gonna go into a fourth nexus you're gonna go into more gates you're gonna go into um what, what you want basically from there you're gonna go into you can go into two robos and in the robotics support bay or your extra tech and there we go it's gonna be two more gates, which would give us six gates in total and robotics support bay. And I assume we're gonna get a robotics facility here. If not, then, well, it's gotta be either one of three. Extra nexus, two more gates or the extra robotics. And it seems it's gonna be the extra nexus before the extra robotics. Which is a little bit interesting. So this robotic support bay is definitely earlier than you usually see. So I'm gonna be very curious what the plan is with this one. Maybe a speed prism uh, disruptor harassment could be a play, for example. Not going for any observers is a little bit strange, though. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go and ahead and see just Colossus out of one robotics facility, which is a little bit curious there. And there's no... Okay, there we go. No thumb lens, I wanted to say. But there we go, the thumb lens. All right. So it's got to be one Robo Colossi for now, which is a little bit strange. And the extra, extra static defense here. And just poking in with the Stalkers. And um, sorry, Max Pax, you need to grab your plus two, like half a minute ago or something. Started. This is plus two and charge. 
Go. You need these. You have the money, make it. That's just a plain mistake right now. On the other side, we see Dark is very nicely transitioning into his plus two. He's going into Hydralisk and Bane. It's plus two melee, which is a very cool thing to have. Templar Archives on the way. Finally, plus two clicked. We still need charge here from our Danish Protoss player. Definitely an upgrade you always get in PvZ if you go past three bases. Gonna go for extra gateways first, but yeah, eventually you wanna make you wanna dump your excess minerals into uh, charge slots, especially if you go with Templar Archives, right? You're gonna go into Storm, you're gonna go into extra uh, gas, is a very gas intensive unit, so you're gonna have excess minerals. Where is the charge, mate? It's cheap, it's fast, you should already have it. Bane's trying to roll in here, and I'm uh, gonna find no Templar actually, just some... Uh, what is it called? Stalkers? I think only one Stalker. That was a very, very messy trade of a Dark, and I don't really like this attack as well. He's not really gonna find anything. Get one Coloss, get some links, but second Coloss already in place here again. And the Static D is, is buying enough time. So you can just easily defend this base, and I don't really like this attack from Dark. This is so inefficient. He's not trading well enough. He's gonna try to overwhelm here from the north with another group of Lynx, but it doesn't feel like this army is able to break the position. And now it's just been an expensive attack. He's even gonna lose all of these Hydras if Max Pax decides to chase. He's just gonna go with two Stalkers, which is a little bit odd. And uh, still has one unit here in the wall. It's not gonna be broken. Now, yeah, finally we are at double Colossus production. We still don't have charge. And uh, yeah, I wanna see charge yesterday as I've been advocating for a while now. So far the excess minerals are going into static defense, if you have noticed. He's been making tons of cannons and shield batteries all around. Don't have them in the main or natural. Just taking a look there. It's all at the fourth and third base. And uh, we go into an extra nexus here. All right, let's see where Dark is looking at. We are about to go into a look at then the Hive is about to hit. And uh, we're going into plus missile attack now after going into plus two ground damage here. Or melee damage, sorry, not ground damage. What am I talking about? Finally, oh my god. Charge and plus three at the same time. Oh! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! No, yes! No, no! Oh my, no! Oh no. Oh god, no. I don't think he's gonna let that fly. Can he see it? Yeah, he can see it. And it's gone. Unfortunate. And yes, hey, see? What did they say you like three minutes ago? You need charge, bro. No slow zealots. They, if they had charge, they would have been already putting damage on this one. Because they would have been already across the map. Walking faster and stuff. So much for that though. Alright, finally though. He heated the call. Charge is done now. And uh, Dark has been just throwing away Banelings, it seems, so far. Not really finding anything. Max Pex is as is, is tight as, as anything can be right now. Oh, this could be an, a nice find, but only Lings against so much AoE, Storm, Colossi, Archons. I don't think that's the trade you're looking for. And you're reproducing 50 links? What are you doing, Dark? What are you doing? Randomizer, you know, here or there, but that's not the play. It looks so random, it looks so weird sometimes. And now he's gonna struggle to defend. But if he actually can grab and surround this army and completely demolish it, that would be a nice pickoff, killing half the army. Now you need the links to come in. The links you threw away like 15 minutes ago, uh, sorry, 15 seconds ago, now you kind of need them. 
There's enough lurkers coming to reinforce this position though, and these 50 extra links which were in production are now done. And uh, yeah, if he can manage to shove the second half of the army, I think he's in a good spot. But yeah, of course, like resetting Protoss armies is very key. And uh, killing off so many high-tech units there in that half army group, that was really good. Or dark. And now I think I really like the last fight, literally. That's the only thing I liked so far. <laughs> and his transitioning. Transitioning has been great. He's on Ling Hydra Bane with Lurkers, which is really solid composition. I would love a couple spellcasters at this point. Maybe the odd Viper here or there. Or, um. Oh boy. Boom. -boom. There was like a couple shotguns fired into those zealots there. All going up yellow and red. Mothership about to be done. And uh, remember, a mothership has a second recall. So potentially recalling armies. It's a cool thing. Like, you can split up his armies and recall both of them. Cool thing. Grabbing the sentry is very nice. There's no counter damage to be found here for Dark. Oh, as I say that! As I say that. Okay, you've got the mothership. Cloak. Cloak somewhere, something. Okay, he's recalling part of the army into his main. The natural is cleared up. The mothership is gonna clock. Ooh, it is. He's still losing a lot of stuff here. Yeah. And we have another attack over here. Tons and tons and tons. Oh my god, how many lurkers is that? 21 freaking lurkers. And uh, yeah, he's not gonna let him defend those. I think Maxpex is just gonna try and go for a counter attack. Now, is this gonna be a base trait? Hmm, that's a tough one, honestly. I, yeah, I like this. Go home with a lot of your lurkers and just build up a good position. Clear out, you cleared out most of your opponent's mining bases. He still has a ton of uh, workers. And we're gonna see a weird recall into the main army, it seemed. Okay. So he actually strengthened his army there. But yeah, this is not a ramp you want to push down. And honestly, even if Dark loses this base over here, which seems that Max Pack sees, yeah, he knows it's there. Uh, uh, you, you cannot... Move, move, move. Come on, Dark. Move these. That's an issue. You need some support for your Lurkers here. Need some support, but it seems like he cannot really be broken cost efficiently, and that might just be enough. He already cleared all of his opponent's mining bases here right now. This is the last mining base in mining bastion here for max packs and uh, well he's gonna clear these lurkers now but at what cost we literally are kind of out of money here for the man and on the other side we still have healthy mining here this base is still mining running the drones i love it evacuating your stuff this one also is still rather healthy it is about to you know mine out though eventually actually yeah so this one was the more important base and, uh, oh, that's a good setup down here for Max Pax. He's gonna find this one immediately. All those drones trying to... <laughs> okay, so this one was cancelled. It was a drone under, under attack, as you hear it. So, um, this was not a kill. And now we are with a high drone count on a on only one base. So we need to be careful about AoE, about anything. This is a good setup here down down here as well. And uh, I wouldn't hate these two turning into bane links and going into there. But of course he doesn't see how many workers are oversaturated in the position. What do we have army wise? We have 40 lurkers, which is an incredibly hard to break army here once it's in position. We have 23 hydralisks. And only three links. So getting a little bit of link support I wouldn't hate here for Dark. He's trying to regain position anywhere where he can start mining, but this one actually is it's scalped. 
scout by stasis trap, which is kind of cool. There we go. A lot of army just transferring down for Dark End. Are both players just starting to rebuild now? Is this what we're going to see here? Oh, killing eight drones. That's, that's huge. But losing three Archons for that? That's also kind of huge. We still have a lot of drones here for Dark, so... If you can clear up this position and uh, kill these guys down here, opening even up this path here. Please. Go down in. Oh no, don't lose it. Wow, Dark is so fast, man. And there we go. Even grabbing these zealots. Like, he didn't even lose one Hydra there. That was amazing. Like, if he makes like 10 links, he can completely wreck this base. He has plus three adrenaline links. That would be a low invest, high return. Ah, there we go. He already is ahead of the curve. He is in a stasis trap though, so yeah. <laughs> and don't show your two links running over there now. This game suddenly super slowed down. Both players completely like knocked out each other. And yeah, the stasis trap gave it away. Amazing. Amazing read here from Max Pax. He knows he's exposed. He, he grabs a couple Archons to deny those Ling run buys. But Bane Links could be good. He sees this. He's gonna run away for now. He can. Oh, wow. Max Pax is gonna give. Oh. I wanted to say he's gonna give up the position on the map, but he's actually recalling into the base. Of course, he has the mothership. I completely forgot about this. Oh, but all of these units here on the low ground, which were falsely recalled onto the low ground, they are fodder to these links. They're gonna go down. And Archon is gonna get snagged. Oh, he could turn around, actually. Ooh. Here we go. I think two Immortals made it out. But still, it was an amazing trade here. In the end, for Dark, army-wise, he still needs to be careful though, that's that's something I completely forgot and I think, I mean Dark had units in position actually, he had some lurkers there. So he was definitely ahead of me there, but yeah, now Max Pax re-expanding to the right, Dark re-expanding to the left, he needs to secure a couple more bases, this one base is not enough, as you see this one's already running out, this is a low value position. I don't think you should try to retank that one, Dark. It just feels like a low value position. I mean, if you go here and then you can re-expand to this area as well, which might be amazing, but you can also just keep on expanding downwards. You need another base though. You cannot lose that one. You need more mining areas because you have more economy and you need to make use of it. Max Pax is kind of maxed out. Like, he's slightly oversaturated. He has so oh, actually some idle workers over here. And we're going into Tempest now. Okay. L let's go here. <laughs> Trying to poke these lurkers, to poke these vipers out of the equation. Basically here. Take those out. I've got a lot of lurkers set up in the main base. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a key position though. Dark chose to <coughs> re exp uh, expand here, and this is going to be found by Max Pax now immediately. And Dark is not in position. He's going to pull all of his army over, and we still have the second army sitting in the bottom. So the base is done now. Dark is going to regain the position here, and he's going to even shove forward. And now everything gets recalled down here. We have a full out army attack into the bottom left here. Beautifully played here by Max Pax. Going to snag eight lurkers or so and the base, and this was the key base for Dark. Dark, though, he wouldn't be Dark if he wouldn't be attacking at the same time while he's defending and kind of getting pulled apart. He's also trying to pull you apart. Uh, denying this Nexus would be huge here. He needs to shove these lurkers a little bit for forward. No, 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 no. Move. Oh, he's actually... He's not settling for one. He wants more. All right, I love it. If, if you attack me, I attack you, he's saying. He needs to clear that cannon, though, which worked out, and there's actually no detection, but, yeah. Decides to run away. Of course, the Oracle is their attack team. And these lurkers managed to evacuate. Well done by Dark, but hey. Okay, so 
Let's go full picture again, right? We are mined out here, we're mined out here, we're mined out here. This is, is a half base. This is not the base you should be taking as dark. And I don't think at this point you have a lot of lurkers still, but it feels hard to secure a position against so such a strong Protoss army, especially with a mothership. Once that is here, well, apparently he's using it for a recall again. Maybe he's thinking there's the base in the bottom left again, so I can recall there and kill that one, but it's not there. I think Max Banks has this, especially with these Tempests here, showing them so late, just now. I think he has this. If Max Banks loses this, it feels like he would be throwing a lead away. And let's see what Dark can make happen. He's gonna split up some Lurkers. This is a base which has not been taken, so that Lurker is not gonna find anything there. And there we go. Army is gonna get recalled to the left side, but hey, as you can see, there's only a little bit of gas remaining, but that's it. Base is just gonna get evacuated. This Lurker, it's invisible here, so it's finding a lot of damage. These charge shots, they're not gonna do anything. And if you can take out this base as Dark, hey, that's what you're looking for. Please look, what are you guys doing now? sitting there. That's tons and tons and tons of workers. Amazing. Amazing place here from Dark. Actually going in and taking out so much economy from his opponent. That's basically making Max Pax all in now. And there you go. So fast you can use everything. Uh, lose everything. Now we just need to use see some amazing Viper usage. But yeah, pulling in the mothership when you don't have much anti-air is not the play, is it? I don't think, still, I don't think Dark can make this happen. He simply lacks the army. He only has two Hydras against six Tempests. He can't even kill the army. I don't think that's it, mate. I don't think that's what you're looking for. But what you could do is kill every single last building. But he's just gonna GG. There we go. GG, well played by Max Pax, enabling him to go for the reverse sweep.